Mama Cups? George? How do you choose your first bird? Well, this is a really fun question because now if you want a bird, you are in for an amazing, amazing pet and a really, really fun life ride. Because let me tell you, birds are just one of the most incredible pets to watch and learn from and be fascinated by. We all know kind of what dogs are like. So when people come over and they see your bird and that you can hug your bird and kiss your bird and love your bird, it's fascinating. So you may have come across this situation and fallen in love with a bird. How do you choose him? Okay. So I think if you are ready to get a bird, or if you think you're ready to get a bird, you should not jump right into a big cockatoo or even an African gray because birds need a lot of attention. And that's one of the things that people do not know. Sometimes birds need more attention than dogs. You want to make sure when you get a bird that he's never locked in a cage. I mean, sure, when you go out, you can lock him and then at night for his own safety. But the point of having a pet is to have a pet that you can hang out with and love, right? So my favorite first bird is a mustache parakeet. Mustache parakeets are extremely beautiful, as you can see. And see, if you can see his temperament, he's extremely calm, cool, and collected. Not all birds of the same species are exactly alike in personality, but there are some common traits that they share. So for example, you could get a wild mustache parakeet and he could be crazy and want to bite your head off. But by nature, if you get a baby, tame bird, even a bird that came from someone else, usually these birds are a really good starter bird. I love mustache parakeets because they're kind of quiet in the grand scheme of birds. Sure, when he screams, it can be loud, but when he's not screaming, he's just chill like this. And when I go to him, he makes this little noise that's like eh, 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 eh. And that's pretty much it. Another thing is, birds scream when they want something. So if you're giving your bird what you want, and usually that's for you to be around him, he's going to be a lot quieter than you think. Another bird that I recommend is, of course, the ringneck, which is kind of like a mustache parakeet, but it's a different bird, and you can tell by the marking on his neck. Those are really nice birds. They're fun. Um, they can talk sometimes. It's not always guaranteed that your bird will talk, but they talk, and um, they're just really cute, kind of like him, and um, they've got a nice personality. I also like which was my first bird, was a yellow cockatiel. Cockatiels are great, great first birds. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, if they're gonna bite you, it's not gonna be, even if it draws blood at worst case scenario, it's not like a macaw or a cockatoo biting you. A cockatiel is a really great starter bird, especially if you have children and um, they're smaller, a little bit smaller, but they're they're very, I don't know, they're just lovely, lovely birds. And a lot of people that start with cockatiels live the rest of their lives loving birds. Um, one thing to take into consideration, if you have seen something where you want a bird and you want to get a parakeet or a budgie or a finch, most of the time, that is not going to give you the satisfaction that you want from a bird. That's not going to be a bird that you can pet and hug and cuddle and uh, you're going to kind of give up on birds. So my advice to you is if you want a bird and it's your first time, start with a lovely bird like Picasso, a mustache parakeet, or a ringneck, or a cockatiel. Um, don't start with a budgie or anything like that if you want to really interact with a bird. So that's my advice to you, and I will go into more detail on birds in other videos.